Right now at 5.30, an emotional send-off for a probationary FDNY firefighter. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back. I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas. Vincent Malvo was laid to rest today. He died last week after training for what he called his dream job. Chopper 2 was over a sea of blue that turned out for his funeral today. CBS 2's Christina Fan shows us how he was honored by family, friends, and firefighters. <laughs> Five days ago, our department suffered the heartbreaking loss of an extraordinary young man. At 31 years old, Vincent Malvo had already done so much good. He was training to become one of New York City's bravest after previously serving as one of New York City's best. At the worst of the pandemic last year, the call volume was higher than it has ever been in New York City. And Vincent was on the front lines of that battle, responding day after day exuding courage and compassion. After working as an EMT for four years, Malvo enrolled in the FDNY Fire Academy this fall. He was a third of the way through when he suffered a medical episode during a training exercise on Randall's Island last week. His family says as a kid, he slept with a calendar turned to a photo of a firefighter over his head. And I believe Vin used it for inspiration and motivation. A reminder each day as he got out of bed. At his funeral at the Christian Cultural Center, the Brooklyn native was remembered for his quiet smile. But friends say in reality, he was a clever prankster. He gift wrapped desks, pens, computers, and at one, at one time he even uh, gift wrapped his co worker while they were sleeping. His FDNY brothers today struggle to find the words to say goodbye. Until then, his spirit will live on through his fellow probies by fighting fires and saving lives, what he always dreamed of doing. In East New York, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Malvo's family says he first wanted to be a firefighter at the age of five and always showed empathy to those who needed help.